Welcome to this online training course on quality management systems. This course is based on the current UK study guide for trainee qualified persons, QPs. Whilst the course is primarily aimed at people wishing to become a QP, the, the course includes a great deal of information on how to establish, monitor, manage and improve a pharmaceutical quality management system. The course is therefore of great value to anyone working in the pharmaceutical industry, especially those working in quality roles. Your tutors for this course are Peter Lavis and myself, Dominic Parry. Peter has a great deal of experience of quality management thinking outside of the pharmaceutical industry whereas I have a great deal of quality management experience from within the pharmaceutical industry. We also have the help of Ron Orm, our online training specialist. You will hear from Peter later and you may deal with Ron with regard to technical aspects of the online learning platform. Some of the chapters in the module are presented to you like this in a filmed presentation format. Other chapters are narrated presentations and some involve you clicking on documents and reading the text for yourselves. We have tried to make the course as interactive as we can through an online format. At both the start and the end of each chapter you can download copies of the slides to either save, print or both. These are your course notes. The course notes contain the slides as well as the tutor's comments. Most people print the course notes and make their own notes as they go through each presentation, but this is up to you. Additional documents will also be provided as we go through. It is important that you keep either a printed or SAID version of these course notes as you will need them to refer back to in the years ahead, especially if you have a Viva assessment as part of the QP application process. All materials are copyright protected. You can save and print a single set of the materials for your own personal use, but you cannot copy, send or make available to others or publish any of the materials in any form of media. The QP study guide has the following requirements for this module, where applicants will be expected to demonstrate a thorough understanding of the following. The philosophy and basic principles of quality assurance. The design criteria for an, for an effective QMS, including auditing and self-inspections, management of quality and GMP at approved vendors and contractors, deviations, root cause analysis, corrective and preventive actions, change control, documentation and record keeping, quality risk management, complaints and recalls. The interpersonal skills, leadership, delegation and communication necessary to implement an effective QMS. The principles of design, selection, qualification and maintenance of premises, equipment, utilities and services. Calibration, preventive maintenance and training. The principles of purchasing and supplier certification including knowledge of supply chains and material control, including the roles of brokers, distributors and repackers. Prevention of counterfeiting and illegal activities. Processes to support and verify the supply chain pedigree. Monitoring and control of both product and raw material transport and distribution processes. Production planning, scheduling and inventory control. Product quality reviews. We will also cover 
the interface between QA and the planning, production, quality control, purchasing, pharmaceutical development, regulatory affairs, medical, pharmacovigilance, vigilance and marketing departments. Also, we'll include the skills and competence needed to provide effective, good pharmaceutical manufacturing practice training. We'll cover organisational structures and reporting relationships, as well as technical agreements and auditing in contract giving and acceptance. All of the study guide's requirements are covered in this whole module. We have tried to keep the level of detail covered in this course applicable to what a working QP needs to know. This module is split into a series of units. Each unit is split into a series of chapters. Each chapter should take you about 20 minutes to complete. There is always an assessment at the, event, at the end of each chapter to test your understanding. This assessment is marked automatically by the system and it should take you between about five and 10 minutes to complete. A copy of the program can be downloaded and printed as part of this chapter. So can the QP study guide. These are found in the attachment section. There are also two tutor marked assessments, one halfway through the module and another at the end. These require longer answers, a paragraph or two, and are sent off and marked by the course tutors with feedback provided to you. The whole course has around 40 chapters, so along with the assessments just mentioned, it should take you about 24 hours to complete in total. This, hopefully, at a time that suits you. There are a total of nine units in this course. In unit one, we will cover the evolution of quality management systems. Here we will explain how the notion of quality and quality management system, QMS, thinking has evolved over time. In unit two, we will cover how to design a quality management system, establishing the building blocks of a QMS. Once a system has been designed, it needs to be implemented, followed and adhered to. And so in unit three, we will cover how to implement a quality management system. This will then bring us to unit four, your halfway tutor marked assessment which you will be expected to complete and send to us for marking. In Unit 5, we will cover how to maintain a quality management system. Here we will explain how essential tasks and activities are performed to keep the QMS effectively working. It is no good having a system if you're not prepared to see how it is working. And so in Unit 6, we will cover how to evaluate a quality management system. More and more, there is a need for any system to drive improvements. And so in Unit 7, we will cover how to improve a quality management system. Then there is a short Unit 8 entitled Miscellaneous, which contains some additional course materials such as typical QP Viber questions and situations. This then brings us to the final unit, Unit 9, your final tutor marked assessment, which again you'll be expected to complete and send to us for marking. On successful completion of all parts of the course, you have passed and we will issue you with a certificate. Now that is it for now. We hope you know what to expect and wish you an educational insight into pharmaceutical quality management systems.